Hey everybody, this is Georgia Reed and you're watching Ballerina Badass and today I am working on another VR shoot that stands for virtual reality, 365 degrees of shooting at the Beckett Mansion here in Los Angeles. I am so excited. This place is creepy and fabulous. I am very excited and it's for fashion and um, fabulosity. So this is going to be a big challenge. Uh, we'll be actually getting to choreograph movement on models which I think is a lot of fun. I love creating movement for the non-dancers uh, to make them look beautiful and look natural and fabulous and it's a great group of people so for me today the challenges are going to be that we'll be dancing on point but on very strange flooring which if you are professional dancers you know that sometimes you have to work in strange elements. All right I'll show you, see if I can get more on set from behind the scenes. Well, that is a wrap on the <laughs> Haunted Mansion shoot. So, it was crazy. We had to dance on weird, uneven concrete. Uh, we also had to dance on felt, which means point shoes on moving fabric, not very safe. Very, having to be very careful. It was a blast. So, one last thank you. Wait, where's the shot? One last thank you to Beckett Mansion. It was awesome getting to shoot here. And now we are safe in the car. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, this makeup looks just, wow. Wow, right? Wow. Anyways, I just wanted to get the heck out of there, so I'm not even gonna wait. I'm gonna go home and take this off with my own makeup remover, thank you very much, because in LA, you can just get in the car and go, ha. <laughs> getting the makeup off I used coconut oil that I got from uh, my friend Jennifer Hardaway at Clean Spa and the coconut oil got almost oh my god look at this face ridiculous almost all the black out you can still see there's still black here in my eye so it's kind of crazy ah and this is my hair which I have a lot of bobby pins now as a result Ta -da, bobby pins but um they teased the heck out of my hair so now I gotta Try and brush it back to normal, see? So, great little makeup tip. tip. <laughs> uh, coconut oil works great for getting the spirit gum or whatever kind of eyeliner, eyebrow glue they use to glue those feathers onto my face for eyebrows. It was on there, tight. And they had glued it directly onto my own eyebrows, which means if I tried to yank them off, I would have yanked out a bunch of my own precious eyebrows. So I used the coconut oil with cotton balls and just gently kept rubbing it over it, rubbing it over it, and then rubbing a little more, and finally it dissolved and came off. Thank God. As far as stretching went, you know, I had a lot of really warm gear. Definitely take lots of warm-ups with you. Also, I recommend bringing a Pilates mat with you on set. It was interesting. There were not a lot of great places to warm up in this uh, mansion. So having the Pilates mat would have been nice just to lay down and not feel like I was laying in the dirt. But I went ahead and did splits in a nice area where there was hardwood floor and um, you know ran through a basic bar, ballet bar for myself. But um, overall that worked out okay. The best thing you can do is stay out of people's way until they call you. I think it's important to stay within earshot at least of the assistant director, if not the director themselves. So, but see if you can go into like the next room, like one room away, that way, ugh, that way you're not in everyone's way um, and they're pushing you around and you've got cables coming through and, you know, um, ACs and production assistants and all these people trying to get through. I think it's important to just be quiet, stay out of the way and do your job. Do your job, do your job, do your job. So, um, I keep a book with me. I was working on my never-ending book of Nuria that I keep trying to get through. Uh, and lots of water. I had my own water bottle with me because I, I, they had lots of water on set, but I didn't want to waste more water bottles that will possibly go in the ocean and kill more 
see life. I did bring my own snacks, even though they did have snacks on set. Um, I kept my almonds with me because almonds are a great source of protein and just a little bit of power. And then um, I had a fruit smoothie with me, ready to go, that I made with my Nutribullet. Yeah. So that kept me going through the day. And we did, we did break for lunch, which was really nice. We finished early, which was really nice. Um, but it's interesting with dancers, nobody seems to realize that with dancing, they think you're just like another model. So they'll just warm, you know, they won't even give you time to warm up. They don't think about, you know, are you getting cold standing there in your shoes? Do you, they just, can you do it again? Can you do it again? Um, this group was aware of it. They were lovely. Knowing how camera angles work and, and keeping an eye on, you know, where's the photographer angled? Is there a camera looking at you? Do you, you know, knowing how to look right into the camera? Uh, knowing is it going to be a full shot usually with dancers of course they want your whole body but sometimes only shooting from here up so you don't need to be you know keeping your feet tight and pointed all the time you can relax that and just focus on the top of your body give yourself a little bit of rest if you know that's going on so that's helpful too anyways I recommend all dancers take acting classes and learn about that as well because I just think it'll make you a better dancer anyway ramble ramble ah see all this beauty no makeup no makeup, except for this little part on the sit that I covered because zit. Really, it still zits? I know, crazy. Rambling, rambling, time to stop the video. Thank you all for watching. If you have any uh, on set stories or behind the curtain, because this will definitely fall into the behind the curtain category, I want to hear about them. Put them in the comment box below. Be sure to like this and subscribe. Never give up, never stop dancing. My name is Georgia. You're watching Ballerina Badass. I love you all. Toy, toy, toy.